We don't have Randy, and we don't have Randy. No, it's just you and me. So I guess it's you and me in the kitchen, it's right? It's you and me in the kitchen. All Let's right. do it. All right. All right. We have Chef Lewis. All right. We're talking a, a really nice thing here, too, with Christmas Wish. Yeah. Here, uh, George. And we're going we're gonna to bring uh, Nancy in from Wish as well. But uh, let's start off by talking, Chef Lewis, okay. about what we are making. And Chef Lewis, by the way, is the executive chef that at the Hyatt correct. Regency. Lewis Reese. So what we're there doing today go. is uh, a herb and peppercorn crusted uh, beef tenderloin. Ooh, Some asparagus and mushrooms. Uh, not for nothing, but that's a beautiful piece of it meat. It is. Yes. This sounds like a true holiday dish, doesn't it? So with the herbs, I just got the herbs, some parsley, black pepper, salt, a little rosemary. We're going to put it in a pan, sear it on all sides. I'll put it in a preheated oven, 350 degrees, for like 20 minutes for so it's medium rare. Now, do you put the mm. whole skillet in the oven? Well, I'm going to transfer it to a pan that I have a rack. Okay. And I'm going right. to use this for the mushrooms as well. That's been a thing I've been doing okay. of late is putting things in the yeah. iron skillet, searing exactly. them, and just putting the whole skillet in the oven. <laughs> that works <laughs> perfect. That works perfect. Whatever works oh. for you, right? Oh. So um, while we're waiting on that, I'm going to saute out some mushrooms here. Okay. Ooh, what kind of mushrooms are these? We got some shiitake and royal Those trumpet mushrooms. Good. Royal trumpet. Royal trumpet. I love them. Fancy. Nice and tender. Kind of the texture of like a portobello in the yeah. center. Yeah. I love, the, yeah, good hearty mushrooms. Those little are shallots, delicious. little shaved garlic. Shaved garlic, yeah. okay. Did that on the mandolin. And Chef, I was saying to you earlier, wow. I, I love the organization that you have got set up here. Yeah, just everything's just makes, in a nice little yeah. bowl. He knows where everything is. This is so finely, nicely yeah, diced, right? Yeah, I know, right? And I didn't do that. I had somebody <laughs> else do it, but it, it works perfect. Yeah. Oh, that That's the thing great. of being the executive chef. Just kind of tell them what to do. And yeah. Now, what is the menu like this time of year over at the Hyatt? Uh, for the Eagles Nest, uh, we have prime rib, um, sea bass. Yeah. We're open five days a week upstairs uh, mm -hmm. from 5 to 10. Uh, just have a little bit of everything. I love the prime rib. It's cooked oh, for four or five hours, uh, 220 degrees. So lovely. And if you've never been there, I mean, the dining room spins. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, is this one of those where you need to be staying there? or you can? No, 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 no. It's open to the public. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, oh, I love that. I'm going to bring Nancy Kepsalis Come in on here now from, from Indiana Wish. Yes. Uh, because um, the, the big event is uh, Christmas in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I want to bring you a little bit forward so that the cameras can see you. Um, All right, man. So tell us about the event and how important it is for the organization. Yeah, so uh, Indiana WISH is a wish for any organization we grant wishes to uh, children that have life-threatening or terminal illnesses. And uh, this is one of our signature events, um, Christmas in the Kitchen. We've been doing it for, I think, probably over 20 years oh, now. Oh, wow. So we had a wonderful partnership with the Hyatt, you yeah. know, that we've done this with them. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have some corporate sponsors that really kind of sustain the event itself. Uh -huh. And then uh, this year we're doing something really unique and different. We're doing the 12 Days of Christmas, a raffle, uh, where one person's going to win 12 prizes. I mean, from uh, a stone, uh, black stone grill to a... Um, a limo ride oh, to nice. uh, seven-course meal cooked in your home. So, so the big um, question is, is, is how do we get tickets for something like well, this? Well, um, it's very easy. Just go to uh, indianawish.org and go to our event page. Okay. And then there's a link to the actual event, and it gives you all the information. Everything uh, how to, Yeah. Yep. And, and, and this is an event that, that ends up being fun for all of you. To, it's a celebration, a year-end. It is, and yeah. we really try and keep it that way. Yeah. It wow. is obviously the things that we do are fundraising events to really help mm -hmm. uh, grant wishes to our children. But this particular event really is a great way to just celebrate the holidays. We have uh, companies that come, like, as their Christmas party for their for their small staff, yeah. you know, because it's that kind of an event. That's good stuff. And, folks, when Indiana Wish grants a wish, um, it usually involves the entire family. You're mm -hmm. sending kids to mm -hmm. Disney World, for instance. Yep. you got to buy airplane tickets for the whole push, hotel rooms. So yes. this is this is expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about $10,000 a wish is the mm -hmm. average wish. Wow. wow. And, uh, and they range from anything from trips that the yeah. whole family goes on to. We've done campers, you know, mm -hmm. for 
kids yeah. that want to have that ski event. So well, we love what you're doing. We appreciate you and the partnership you both have. How are we doing over there, Chef? We're doing well. Doing well. Everything's coming along nicely. All right. So then yeah. you know what that means is we have a taste test coming up in the next segment. Yes, we do. And since we don't have Randall or Randy, there might be some food left around. Yeah. So, so there you go. Stuff.